You just called me peeing my last night shit. Now this isn't for me to eat. I know some of you might like nachis and eat them, but I'm not going to be eating this one today. Today, this is part of a demonstration I'm going to be showing you. So we all wait with that for now. But what I am going to do, I'm going to read a scripture to you guys. So why don't you grab your Bibles quickly so you can read it with me. Okay, so we are going to be reading from Ephesians 6 verse 10. And this is what it says. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Therefore, put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Wasn't that such a great scripture, guys? I love how it spoke about wearing the full armor of God and went into detail about what each of it is. Now did you know in the old days when the soldiers fought, they all had their own sword and shield to fight with. Now the purpose of this was to protect the soldiers. Now I'm going to be showing you the demonstration you've been waiting for. So. These two Nazis each represent something. This is us without the armor of God. And this Nazi is us with the armor of God. Let's see what happens when I put this Nazi that represents us without the armor into this water. Let's see. Oh goodness, can you see how this sank to the bottom? Now let's see what happens when we, with the armor of God, now go into the water. Wow, look at that! This one floated. Experiment worked. So just like this Nazi that sank at the bottom, that didn't have armor, then this Nazi at the top, this one floated because it had armor. And the reason it floated was because it's protected by this peel. And that's how we are protected with the armor of God. So I want to encourage all of you to continue reading your Bible. I will see you all soon and I thank you for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye!